I'm Sierra Encinas at the San Diego Zoo, where pandemonium is taking over. You see dozens of people filing into the zoo today, but that number could grow with two pandas on the way as we speak. People are excited, but they will have to wait a bit for the pandas to get accustomed to their new environment. You ready to see pandas? Yeah! <laughs> The world famous San Diego Zoo experience is about to get even more adorable. People at the zoo will be able to see giant pandas for the first time in about five years. Here. Yes, we're so excited. Very, very excited. Kelly Martinez comes to the zoo every two to three weeks. Wednesday, she brought her niece to enjoy the animals. I mean, the pandas are just really cute and they're normally out and about. And so it's a good, good little session, viewing session. They aren't the only ones that are excited. Representative from the San Diego Zoo's Wildlife Alliance and Mayor Todd Gloria were in China for Yun Xuan and Xin Bao's farewell ceremony. The Zoo's Wildlife Alliance says it can't wait for the young pandas to explore the new environment they've prepared to resemble their natural environment. The, the size of the habitat is, I believe it's quadrupled, maybe even quintupled. It's enormous. And we've also incorporated a lot of topographic features that are just going to make for a very exciting and engaging habitat for the giant pandas. Uh, ask Travel experts like travel advisor President Tracy Anderson, Anderson expect the pandas wow. to bring out large yeah. crowds first locally then from all over that means more money being spent all over town hotels car rentals airline tickets other attractions the beach restaurants everything Anderson says the average week-long family vacation to San Diego runs five to eight thousand dollars this could be potentially a significant boost to our economy it could be oh it's definitely for the for all of San Diego it could be definitely the San Diego Wildlife Alliance says that once the pandas get settled in, they'll announce an opening day. Sierra Encinas, CBC 10 News.